Parents in Brockport woke up to a surprise school closure announcement this morning due to a bus driver shortage, so no students had to report to school. Alex Lubb traveled out to Brockport and spoke to parents. He joins us live in the newsroom with what adjustments the district is making. Alex. Definitely, John. A shortage of, of bus drivers is not unique to the Brockport Central School District in times like these, but the cancellation of an entire school day on such short notice was unexpected. The school board and superintendent have been in meetings all day to figure out how to move forward. What would have been a typical school day turned into holiday shopping and time with family. The students themselves didn't mind. I was surprised since when I got up this morning getting ready for school and then and I just heard Hey, you're not going to school. I'm like, okay, I'll go back to bed. What are you all doing? Buying toys and eating lunch. <laughs> Would you rather be in school or are you happy to come and play with her instead? Play with her. <laughs> Parents first heard the announcement around 6 a.m., explaining the school closure was due to a bus driver shortage. For some who work from home, the inconvenience wasn't huge, but adjustments still had to be made or turn to grandparents for help. I'm sure somebody would have to take off from work. It was surprising, but I mean, my job in hotels and stuff, we've just been adapting to things. But I mean, it's happened now a couple times, at least with after school activities have been canceled. This is the first time that school was outright canceled. A spokesperson for the Brockport Central School District told us the superintendent has been meeting with school board members all day to figure out proper adjustments going forward, but a plan has not yet been finalized. Now, there are still a lot of questions we have yet to answer, but despite this, all, despite this closure, all after-school concerts, athletic practices, and Oliver Middle School's fundraiser pickup for 6th and 7th graders are still going on as scheduled throughout today. We'll have more updates on the bus schedule moving forward as the district makes the announcements on air and on rochesterfirst.com. Live in the newsroom, Alex Love, News 8. All right, Alex, thank you. We'll continue to keep you updated with that story throughout our newscast this evening. Turning